Gee whiz, what a grey old day. It's the real winter fossil collecting along the coast, along the Jurassic coast in January. There are some very positive instructions there of what you must be aware of on the beach if you're going out fossil collecting. A really wet day here along the Jurassic coast and uh, I'm gonna go down onto the uh, areas of iron pyrites and fossil around in those to find the little perfect ammonites preserved in the fool's gold. Really small fossil ammonite there from the Jurassic age. It's really good walking along these parts, looking in amongst the pyrites. And um, Richard was here earlier. He mentioned today that it's a, a spring tide. I'm just down here in the surf at low tide and uh, have a look at that uh, ammonite that I've just plucked out. You can see it's got a uh, fossilized uh, parasitic worm there on it, sepulid worm, and uh, it's preserved nicely in the fool's gold with that uh, particular feature on it. So I'll uh, do some picking of that when I get home. Gosh, it's wet. My hands are cold, as you can probably see. And uh, I'm here at low tide now with the sea still going out to some effect but uh, it's quite a stormy day early January there's some people wandering up the beach haven't seen many people out and about today but uh, there's a group down there in the distance they must be looking for fossils as well well it's absolutely bucketing down today I've been really fossicking hard through the uh, iron pyrites patches as the sea's been turning over and look at this lot that I found it's not bad is it in uh, just about an hour of uh, fossil collecting. All these ammonites, the pro microceris, preserved in the fool's gold. A lot of people say, oh, don't take them all, leave some for us. Well, I'm afraid the sea will take them rapidly and erode them rapidly, so they must be collected. There's an eroded one, doesn't look too shiny now. And um, here, a lot of people ask me about these bits. You can see here all these markings, they're trace fossils on the rock, the remains of ancient trackways of shells making way their way along the muddy sea um, floor or um, worms that have burrowed and uh, left their uh, markings so uh, they're nice to Just see. Before I go back into town I'm going to uh, have a bit of a wash up. I've got Mike Harrison coming into the shop today with some of his amazing fossil finds. He's uh, doing a bit of filming in town with um, some people coming along with their uh, camera crew and uh, uh, there's a belemnite there just uh, sticking out of the mud little fossil belemnite piece so yeah wash my hands go back into town and uh, have a treat now you will if you stay with us and uh, come and see Mike Harrison's fossil find so walking back into Lyme Regis on this really wet and rainy day there's the river starting to get into full flow there. I'm here with at Mike Harrison's fossils, looking at his amazing fossil finds from the Jurassic Coast, ichthyosaur jaws, a lovely big backbone of the ichthyosaur there. And uh, here is Mike himself. There he is, the man himself. And let's talk about some of his fossil finds. Look at that backbone column there. Huge, really weighty isn't it Mike? Yeah, four huge vertebrates from a Tenodontosaurus platyodon ichthyosaur I found in 2008. That is big, you can hear it go clonk when it goes back on the table there. Some fossil specimens that Mike's prepared as well, lovingly. Very fragile too, look at that lovely specimen there 
This would have been a much bigger piece, um, but unfortunately some of it's got lost to the sea. The sea destroys everything as well as revealing all the fossils. That is looking absolutely amazing on this uh, iPhone. And then some of the harder work here where Mike's had to prepare around the ammonites, preserved in calcite. Wow, those really gleam with the iron pyrites uh, body chambers. And on the other side of the rock, we have imprints of shells and other ammonites. What uh, rock is that? What part of the... This is goldstone. Wow. Quite a rare type of stone. It really does look gold on the screen too. That's stunning, Mike. Over here, I can see a little fish, a small fish. It's the weather for fish. Just been out fossil collecting in the rain. This is a little um, little fish in a piece of wood stone, accompanied by some small ammonites, all preserved in calcite. Absolute beautiful preservation, right at the top of the stone as well. What kind of stone was that you found it in? That's a wood stone. That's a wood stone. That actually didn't have any wood in it. No wood in that? No, there was no wood in it, a fish instead. And the little ammonites washed up against it as it acted as a barrier on the seafloor. Amazing. Wow, absolutely spectacular fossil finds. I've got a couple of mine strewn in with the others, but uh, Mike's got all the, all the big got pieces. That's one of my favorites of yours. Big Nautilus there from the uh, Lias. Look at that, perfect. Just plucked out of the mud like that. You can find whole specimens on the beach just like that. The sea's eroded that so well, hasn't it? It's sort of given it a sort of sculptural effect. You'll never find another one like it. No, ever, ever. You're right, yeah, exactly. When you talk about this stuff, that is exactly what you're saying. You'll never find some of this material ever again like it. Absolutely unique. Look at that jaw there. It's a lovely toothy rostrum. Wow, what a sword. smile. And did you prepare that one out, Michael? Was that it came um, out in hundreds of pieces? Oh, proper jigsaw. So painstakingly put it all back together. Um, Look at those gnashes. I suppose the nice thing about the fact that it was broken into so many pieces meant that I could prepare all the matrix from around the teeth, oh, so I you can actually see through it to get that three-dimensional effect. Look at the light through the other side. If you were a fish, that wouldn't have been such a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is an amazing collection. Thanks very much for bringing it around. This is Mike from at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram. That's it, I think we've covered all those specimens. What a brilliant display of fossils from the Jurassic Coast, mostly found at low tide, washed out by the sea's actions.